you high. Alrighty, folks, ladies and gentlemen. WrestleMania morning, ladies and gentlemen, it is so. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long fucking day. I don't know why I woke up, but you know, it's whatever. Um, it is time for your WWE Hall of Fame 2019 review for thoughts and thoughts on a certain situation that happened this event, which I will talk about later once I get to it. Um, I didn't watch this show live because I had things to, I had things to do on Saturday night. Uh, but, you know, I did watch it back when I came home. I unfortunately fell asleep while watching it because I was very tired. But then I then I finished watching it um, this morning. I just basically finished watching it and did all the stuff. And now I'm ready to review it. Um, you know, if I didn't have things to do, I would have loved to watch this. And honestly, it was a good show. It was really a good induction ceremony. Um, you know, honoring the legends and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely, I, I, I love the idea that it was on a Saturday, you know, before WrestleMania. I thought that's, like, a, always a good thing. I did not like the idea of how TakeOver, NXT TakeOver is going to be on a, fr like, on a Saturday before WrestleMania. I'm always a fan of the idea of WrestleMania, of course, on a Sunday, of course, it has to be. But, like, the night before WrestleMania will be the, the Hall of Fame. Perhaps if they want to do NXT, well, they can't do it next year because, like, what, it's Friday Night Smackdown is coming back. But, yeah, I would like the idea, like, perhaps, you know, the Wednesday or Thursday before WrestleMania, they do their NXT TakeOver crap. Perhaps do on the Wednesday, because that's when that NXT is on anyways. Do an NXT TakeOver on that Wednesday, Friday Night SmackDown, to kick off the, you know, WrestleMania weekend. Um, the Hall of Fame, WrestleMania, uh, yeah, Hall of Fame on Saturday, WrestleMania... And then, you know, the night after WrestleMania with Monday Night Raw, that's WrestleMania weekend for you, you know? I, I just, honestly have loved that, honestly. Um, I thought that's, like, a better idea. Cause I, I'm not really a big fan of this whole, like, Saturday night, night like, you know, fucking Hall, Hall of Fame. It's not, not, I don't like the Hall of Fame being on, like, on your other day than a Saturday. Like, I, I think that's, like, way better for, like, you know, in terms of traditional-wise, because I'm more traditional like that. It's like, unfortunately, that's how it's been, like, for the past two years. So I kind of liked it this year that it was on a Saturday. Even though I sadly couldn't watch it on a, on the Saturday night. But it was really good. Um, and, yeah, it was great. It was great seeing the legends, man. It was great seeing everything going on. Um, good moments. You know, it was great seeing the uh, people getting inducted. All the great speeches. You know, it's amazing. It was good. It was really good stuff. And, plus, it was entertaining. You know, a lot of entertaining stuff happened. So get your stone of wine glass for WrestleMania weekend. The first stone of the wine glass in the WrestleMania week WrestleMania day, alright? Oh shit, oh shit. Gonna the fuck some bitches to be like cows later on uh, during WrestleMania people. Why well, do a but you know, I don't know. We're gonna have some but I don't know, just, just whatever. Cheers them motherfuckers. We're gonna fucking be back couch make them go, oh shit, oh shit. But the thing is, who the fuck, what kind of bitch wanna watch WrestleMania? <laughs> Especially when it's fucking terrible. You ain't gonna fuck bitches with black couch uh, wanting to show them WrestleMania 35 when it's a potential to be the worst pay per view, you know? Worst WrestleMania of all time, probably. It's ain't good. I'm not trying to go into the intention of hating it. It's just unfortunate. It's not good. It doesn't look like it's gonna be good, you know? Anyways, besides that, that's tonight. Even though, oh my god, it's gonna be like a two. If you think about it, it's gonna be like a two day event. It's gonna go over 12. I do got some buddies coming over, and they're going to probably leave at 11, because they don't want to see this woman's bullshit, and honestly, yeah, I hope, but the thing is, if it's really going to be like 8 hours, like, they're going to do a 6 hour show, that means the show's going to probably end at 1, and like, the priest is going to start at 5, can you just do it, end it at 11, please, oh my god, but you have to, just like, I hope, like, the thing is, I hope they don't extend it to 1, that means like, they're going to do... But if you're going to do that, then, like, hopefully it just means this could be some stupid long match. I don't know. But, like, hopefully they don't, like, leave, like, the certain, like, they don't, like, um... Yeah, hopefully it just, like, all the all the good, all the things before the main event happens at 11, and 11 they do their stupid fucking women's bullshit, you know? That's what I hope. Because, uh, like, I don't want to miss, like, I don't want me and my friends on that side of anything. Because, like, after 11, basically, when before the women's match happened, we're not going to watch WrestleMania. I'm turning it off, okay? Alright, so, um, so here you go, the Hall of Fame. Yeah, basically the Hall of Fame started with, um, you know, the usual intro. 
Um, they did interrupt with the DS. They were doing some DS antics. So the DS is getting inducted in the Hall of Fame. So it was pretty fun. You know, it was good stuff seeing that. Um, they did change the Hall of Fame this year, I guess, to make it easier when they have, like, because apparently the same place where they're having the um, Raw and SmackDown, they decided, you know, because, like, you know, it's easier or something. Now they have a ring. They do it in the ring. So no big stage. And yeah, plus they're, the problem is they're treating this like a gay sports awards or gay slammies. They're treating this like a gay, stupid fucking sports award induction ceremony crap. Like, really, like, why? And yeah, what's worse than all, this was the this was really the only thing that I, I can criticize. Well, not the only thing, but like, this is the, something that I really hated. The fact that fucking Corey Graves and Renee Young were like the two fucking hosts. I fucking was cringing every fucking time they kept fucking talking and fucking keep saying all this fucking stupid bullshit. They're fucking annoying. They all suck, okay? Especially Renee fucking Young. This bitch needs to fick a, take a fucking Canadian fucking bacon and shut her fucking goddamn mouth and shut the fuck up. Or take a giant, I don't know. Well, anything. Fucking Dean Ambrose copper stay in her fucking goddamn mouth and, uh, or no, keep coming on it so she can shut the fuck up and fucking die from it. Okay, because for fuck's sake, she's fucking horrible. She can't talk for shit. She's annoying. She's cringy. She sucks. Fuck Renee Young. And fuck Corey Graves too. You can take some of Renee Young's cum and fucking kill yourself with it. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. But God Almighty, you're just so fucking annoying. Like, why are you treating, treating this like a sports bullshit? Plus, like, where the fuck is Jerry Lawler? I miss Jerry Lawler. God Almighty. The fact now he's replaced by these bozos. Like, give me a fucking break. And you know what's worse? Yeah, Renee Young's gonna be on commentary for WrestleMania. And she's gonna be commentating for fucking... Yeah, the Women's Main Event shit. Sure, you're not, not gonna watch that, but like the... Pit Potential, she's gonna probably commentate for like all the decent enough matches, and probably Batista versus Triple H. And I hope that's not the case. Hopefully, so. Thing is, why did Jr. have to leave? Listen, I know I was gonna probably, I was gonna probably do a video, but like, it's really unnecessary because Jr. hasn't really been on commentary. But like, honestly, Jr. should just come back for fucking Batista versus Triple H. He shouldn't have left for AEW. Like, for God's sakes, why? Oh my goodness. Or just fucking, just replace the fucking, just bring back Jerry Lawler, fucking JBL, Michael Cole. Replace, just bring them back to be with Cole. I, I, I hate this commentary. I never thought I would miss fucking Jerry Lawler, uh, fucking J JBL and Cole being the three stooges that they are fucking commentating. I never believed that I would fucking miss that shit. I can't believe it, but it's gonna happen. Anyway, so yeah. Um... Yeah, the Honky Tonk Man was the first to be inducted. It was good stuff, the, showing his video package. Jamie Hart, Jimmy Hart uh, inducted him. Good speech by Jimmy, you know, to just introduce him and stuff. And, um, yeah, he talks about how managing, he was managing other people, but then he said that it was great managing Honky Tonk Man. Honky Tonk Man came out, and I thought, yeah, yeah. He came out, I said he thought this would never happen, but he reminds everybody that never said it, never, because apparently, you know, he had bullshit with the company. Fan saying, you deserve it. Uh, by the way, one point, I think, uh, it's amazing how Honky Tonk Man, like, lost fucking weight. Like, seriously, it really is. For God's sake, like, I think the last time I saw Honky Tonk Man, like, for, like, wasn't he, like, overweight? He was, like, literally overweight. It's like, wow. But, like, it's good stuff, like, you know, he was able to lose some weight, and, like, you know, he still looks good, you know? Looking good, girl. <laughs> Looking good, honky tonk man. Uh, you know, I, I, if it take a show, uh, you know, if it take a crazy press, if I like it, I'll probably like a uh, fucking honky tonk man without his fucking, without his coat. I'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> Little Charlie joke. I'm not trying to hate you, Charlie, but you know, this group probably both might say that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, it ends with honky tonk. It ends with, um, Basically, Honky Tonk Man thanking the fans, and then they sing with Jimmy Hart and stuff. He's singing his fucking tune, so it's all right. The problem, my problem is though, it's just it sucked that he didn't mention much about the about him being the IC champion for like he's like the longest reigning IC champion. Like what the fuck? He didn't talk much about that. And yeah, he thanked but he thanked Hulk Hogan for recognizing him and stuff. You know that's cool. Um, yeah, and yeah, that happened. We got Renee and Graves again. Fuck this and fuck their retarded argument. 
They show some DX moments, which is always cool. Then we get the Tory Wilson induction, fap time. Oh shit, oh shit, definitely. Oh my god, uh. Rest in peace to Tory's father, though, Al Wilson. It's amazing how he was, like, fucking being, being, again, he will always be remembered for, for, like, you know, just all the fucking Tory Wilson and fucking Don Marie moments, and the, the greatest moment of them all, the fucking HLA in the fucking hotel room, and I'm telling you, that still would draw more fucking ratings than some women's fucking match, the women's main event at WrestleMania, okay? This, this Al, this, this, seriously, this Al Wilson storyline, it draws more itself than a fucking women's match or women's main event. Give me a fucking break with this crap, seriously. Um... Stacey Keebler inducts her. She looks fucking great. Fucking got legs for days. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, you know, hell yeah. Um, yeah, sadly mentions the whole women's main event bullshit and the women's revolution crap. Like, give me a break. Come on, shut up. They showed one point Trish and Lita, though. My god, Trish and Lita. Oh shit, oh shit, it's amazing. I, you know. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna mention it later about the whole old women joke or whatever, but I'm gonna mention it later, but like seriously. Yeah, that sounds like don't forget, but you know what, actually I'm gonna mention it now before I forget. It's amazing how like, this is a spoiler before I mentioned the fucking DX pro, uh, induction thing. It's amazing how, you know, like you know how a lot of women old, have old men, old women sags. They fucking sag and bullshit. They become old hags. For fuck's sakes. Like, can you really imagine? Like, it's amazing how these women won't, won't age for days, okay? Seriously. They're not gonna age for shit because they're actually fucking pretty fucking hot and shit. It's, like, amazing. They could be fucking 60 and they'll be still looking fucking great. That's why you fucking women out there better not become old hags, okay? Shit the fuck up, okay? Don't wait your fucking seats all the time and fucking hit the wall or something, you know? Actually, be the real small fucking woman you can do and put effort to yourself, you know? I mean, guess what? Man will cherish you, man will love you, and it will fucking debate black cats will make you go, oh shit, oh shit, for days, and you will never go old. You never, you will never become like old wine. You'll become like fine wine. You'll be better with age, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I am the real motherfucker. I like other women too, you know? Like Trish Lita, Tori Wilson, for fuck's sake, Stacey Keebler. It's amazing how these women. Still look fucking amazing than all these fucking She-Hulk cunts in the fucking company. It's fucking amazing, like seriously, God Almighty, God, the standards of women has gone decreasing, like seriously. Um, Tori came out, looks amazing, all fucking the big black couch, definitely. Oh shit, oh shit. Um, just mentioned how it's been a rough week, which is pretty fucking sad, you know, just because of her father passing away two days ago. She did mention that. Um, she talks about how, uh, her life story, she mentions how she was fat. Damn. <laughs> she was fat. Bullied and made fun of, and then says that one day, her boyfriend Terry, her four, I don't know, some guy named Terry would eat his words. Pretty sure he's eating his words right now, so that's good stuff. And then, yeah, she says, she mentions how she wasn't hired for wrestling. Which is like, of course, and who cares? You know, fuck yeah, like, okay. Who cares if you were, were hired for wrestling? We loved you still. Unfortunately, like, Fit, she mentions Fit Finley was the responsible for women's wrestling, so he can go fuck himself for that. Because, like, again, because thanks to this woman's bullshit, Fit Finley could go fuck yourself. Like, it's a darn shame I like Fit Finley, but, like, fuck him for that. Um, what I was gonna say, too, um, mentions Billy Kidman, mentions other women, he mentions his family, and mentions her father passing away and stuff, yeah. And then, yeah, he mentioned how, like, Don Marie was, like, gave a, gave Al Wilson the time of his life. So it's, uh, it's good stuff. The, especially the HLA moments. Fucking amazing. And mentioned how fans love that they, they invited her into her lives, especially for the purity. <laughs> oh, my God. Tell me. I'm, uh, you know, I'll say it right now. Thank you for inviting me. Fucking for, for giving me purity, too, for fuck's sake. God almighty. All the fucking HLA moments with Don Marie and Tori Wilson. Stroke that guy. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking amazing. It's great. So she thanked everyone and left. We got like a Miz and fucking Shane face off. Like, why? And yeah, they're, the fans were cheering Miz and booing Shane. You know, it's funny though, like how the fans were giving in intended reactions. They did this with Brian and Kofi too later on. But like, literally, they were cheering Miz but booing Shane. It was like actually fucking 
I thought this is like a smarty town. I thought this is like a smarty town. This is fucking New York. And for fuck's sakes, I thought this is like, you know, they'll, ch they'll cheer for people who actually are cool, you know, or they think they're cool, but all of a sudden, they, I don't fucking know. And like more on that later. Um, Hart Foundation inducted by Nanny Nightfar, but the, but Bret Hart came with her. They came out together. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to say, oh, yeah, I was good, sorry. Uh, yeah, stupid interaction again with Renee Young, Corey Graves. This is stupid. Well, at least fucking stupid. Like, why not just have fucking ho one host with Jerry Lawler? Like, seriously. And this is like Sammy f the first in the future, you know? Because, like, it's just gonna ruin the Hall of Fame. Like, you're ruining the Hall of Fame now, like, with this fucking format and bullshit. Um. So, yeah, the Hart Foundation gets inducted. Like, w again, why not include British Bulldog and fucking Owen Hart in the same time or everybody from the Hart family, you know? It would make more sense. Uh, Bret Hart told a good, a great story and a great speech and about Jim and talked about the history. He was talking. He was. He tells hilarious. He was telling hilarious jokes and fucking sarcastic jokes too. It was amazing. So he was and he was reflecting on the history, past tag team rivals. Yeah, his speech was so good. By the way, it it did remind me of his two thousand six Hall of Fame streak. The speech. So it was amazing. It was a good speech. It was really good. Um, I yeah, thank Jimmy Hart. Mentioned King Kong Bunny who died recently, which is sad. Mentioned all the glo all the lost friends he had. Seriously, like you know, he's like the only guy there now. Seriously, you know, like he's like the only guy from the fucking Hart family, and like he's literally the only guy. He's like one of the only guys left from the fucking new generation, or or even the golden ages of wrestling. It's really a fucking darn shame. Everybody's fucking dying, you know. And say and says in that in the end. They are indeed the best there is, best there was, the best there will be, and then, yeah. And also, yeah, they play a clip off of Jim Nyhart. By the time I was watching this, it didn't seem like it was, it didn't seem like, you know, Red Hart was attacked. But, after, but I guess because it was edited, so yeah, let me fucking talk about this. So here's my fucking thoughts, and like, after I just talked about it, so yeah, unfortunately, yes, so Bret Hart was attacked by a fucking psycho. The psycho fucking fan. Which I... For some fucking reason, for an unknown fucking reason, seriously, this motherfucker had the nerve to attack this fucking Bret Hart. Like, why? It's like, I, I, I don't understand. This is pretty fucking retarded. Like, like, is he really this... Like, you know, oh, you know, real wrestling fan. Okay, is he even an actual fan in the first place? If anything, this... This guy probably is a fan of stupid bullshit in wrestling nowadays, or probably, you know? You could probably even be like, Oh, it's, you played Seth Rollins, what the fuck, with all this bullshit? You know how, like, fucking fans are, for fuck's sake? They like to bash, you know, Brett just because, Oh, oh, it's Seth Rollins' fault, or whatever the fuck, you know? It's pretty fucking retarded how fucking fans think. Seriously. It's really fucking retarded. Sorry, people, I'm just getting something. But, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously. This motherfucking guy, who's literally fucking old. This old man, of course, Bret Hart is fucking old now, you know? The guy had fucking cancer. The guy had a fucking stroke, I believe, as well. The guy's not in the best shape of his life, but, like, this guy had the fucking nerve to go in the ring and tackle Bret Hart. I don't know what, apparently, either it was intentional or what. No, I don't know. But, like, but it seemed like it was intentional, because the guy literally just came in. Took Bret Hart down, and then, like, wh what's the fuck, why? You know? What a fucking psycho this motherfucker is. And I fucking will give, I give props to Dash Wilder. As much as I fucking hate the Revival, I don't give a fuck about the Revival. Oh, because they don't do flips like motherfuckers. If you actually know me, I don't fucking like this. Like, how, are you new to the channel? I'm, I don't like this whole fucking flippy shit. But, like, the thing is, they're boring. That's the thing. It's not that they're, they're, like, you know, they don't do flips. No, it's just because they're fucking boring. Even though, like, they do fucking fists, they be claimed to be wrestlers. But, like, got props to Dash Waller, though. Fucking give a fucking big circuit push to this motherfucker. Because he honestly deserves it. Oh, even if it's a cheap shot. It, it's fucking great. And I think other people got involved to fucking beat the motherfucker up. I heard Strowman did it. I heard even Shane McMahon and fucking Ronda Rousey's fucking husband, for fuck's sakes. Travis Scott or something. What the 
No, not Travis. Is it? Oh, is there another guy named fucking Travis? Oh, God, not the rapper. Oh, no, thank you. Some Travis motherfucker. Fuck Travis Scott, the rapper, by the way. Um, and I think Edge, too, got a fucking shot. Like, multiple wrestlers. I don't know. I, I'm, I hope every wrestler fucking did whatever the fuck. Because, honestly, the fan, what the fan was doing, it's like, what the fuck? Oh, but it's illegal. Then why the fuck even attack an old man, for fuck's sake? Holy shit. What? Fucking pathetic. No, like, seriously, it's not good stuff, okay? It's really not good. It's really sad, you know? And, we're, and again, you would think, where the fuck is security? And honestly, this is honestly the problem. of what, One of the problems why I had with this fucking induction ceremony. The whole, look. Because of having a ring, honestly, I think this was the, this was the problem, honestly. One of the biggest problems of this new changes. Honestly, they should have not done this. If like, sure. Honestly, think about it, maybe it is cool. Sure, because you know it's a ring. You know they wrestle in the ring and shit. But the thing is, honestly, this this problem would have happened if they didn't have a ring. If they didn't do this in a ring and actually instead have it all stage how they actually do it. You know the fact that they did this. You know with the ring. I understand why. I understand like yeah. You know what? It's kind of cool. Think about it now, because I was thinking, like, damn, this is a change, like, I'm not used to it. Of course, like, you know, changes, you had to get used to it. I kind of got used to it in a way, but, like, that was, like, now, like, thinking about it, they shouldn't have done this. They shouldn't have had a ring, because, like, look at it now. Fucking Bernhardt got attacked, you know? It's not good stuff, motherfucker. It's really not good stuff. It's really a sad thing. I just want to check the time, but really... It's a really a darn shame that that happened. Really, really fucking sad and really fucking pathetic. And I fucked the fucking guy who did that shit. Apparently, I saw screenshots, like, of the fucking guy. He has bruises. And honestly, he fucking deserves it. Because for fuck's sake, you attack an old man? What's, what do you expect's gonna happen? You're obviously gonna get fucking motherfuckers gonna beat the shit out of you and stop you. Because for fuck's sakes, have some fucking respect. You know? And these are, like, what fucking psycho fans do. Unfortunately, a lot of fans are psychos nowadays. Like, seriously. Oh my god. But yeah, it's a darn shit that happened. So there's my thoughts about the Bret Hart situation. There you go. Um, and yeah, hopefully Bret is okay. But oh my god, that's really disrespectful. But that happened during the fucking thing. That happened during the fucking induction promo. Not promo, but you know, ceremony speech. And yeah, they made it, and yeah, they made it seem like it was uh, didn't happen with their editing. So... I understand, like, why they did it, you know, because, like, yeah, they don't want fans to remember that. But it's really a darn shame that that happened. It really is. It really is sad. So, fucking darn shame. Fuck the motherfucker who did that shit. Um, after that, DX moments, more DX moments, and then Renee Young and Corey Graves talked about Corey's hair. Can you shut the fuck up? They introduced Brutus Barber Beefcake and stuff, you know. Again, this would probably be more funny if Jerry was doing the joke. They are not funny. Corey Graves and fucking Renee Young are not funny. I hope they get fired. They suck. Hogan introduces fucking uh, Bruce Beefcake. It's amazing seeing Hulk Hogan, definitely, you know. Uh, mentions Bruce's Bru story and mentions how his how he struggled getting his name and stuff, you know. Um, says Bruce Bru became a household name at the time, thanks to him and shit, you know. And yeah, he came out. Let me mention this. I love Bruce Beefcake's theme song. I really do. I don't know why. I just love it. It's just nice and groovy. I guess I, it fits his character in a way. And plus, like, it reminds me of Owen Hart's theme song. Like, I don't want to do it. It's just, like, it's just a good theme song, though. You know, I, I love Bret Hart's theme song. The one, not Bret Hart, Owen Hart's theme song. What he used in WrestleMania 10 and stuff. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Um, yeah. Um, six sick burn to Baron Corbin. He mentioned his name, uh, fucking Bruce Beefcake, and he had a good speech also talking about his story. And yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, they show Alexa Bliss who looks hot, you know. Then Corey Grace, more Corey Grace and Renee bullshit. The Warrior Award, which is the award word that actually means, you know, that actually is intended to be what the Warrior wanted, the Ultimate Warrior wanted. So you know, that's cool. Which is Stu Itchinson, Atkinson or something? I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know who she is. I'm sorry, but again, this is a good thing. You know, it's a good thing that she's getting inducted. And plus, like, you know, she did a lot of good stuff. So, for WWE, then the award comes out, does a good speech like usual. They introduce Cena. And I've never been so happy to see Cena. I've never been. I've never been so happy to see Cena. 
you know, people saying, John Cena sucks, John Cena sucks, and all, and like, not that, all that stuff. And they were chanting, please face anger or something. What, was that the chant? Was that a chant? Was it like, yeah, they were chanting face Kurt Angle, and then it was, you know, like, damn it, it was amazing. Like, they, I hope they actually, listen, I'm not saying, oh, you should listen to the fans, like, not these all gay fans, but honestly, this is something they should listen to, because this is actually good stuff. If Cena's gonna be there, he's there. He's fucking there. Why are you not doing it? <laughs> Cena versus Angle is a match that you could do. They're there in the same fucking... fucking <laughs> oh, come on. <coughs> um, Let's go see if Cena sucks or whatever. And she inter he, introduces, he introduces the woman. You know, he probably teach a little bit about cancer. <laughs> he probably did. So, you know, he probably teach the fucking Sue bitch that I, I'm gonna teach you something about cancer. You help me with cancer, I'm gonna teach you something about cancer. We have chemistry, man. That's what I'm gonna introduce you. I love children. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you something about cancer. I'm gonna suck the cancer out of your vagina. <laughs> That's what he probably did to Sue bitch. Yo, Sue, yo, Sue bitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna f fuck your ass. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so she was thanking all the wrestlers and stuff. She mentioned Cena says, that's my boy. She actually said, that's my boy. See, I, t I tell you, I'm seeing, I'm telling you guys, they fucking have some chemistry. They, they did, they did something about kids. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, and then she had good Justin Bieber, Bieber owned it. She, you know, she owned, owned Justin Bieber. She claims that like fucking Debbie and John Cena would have more make a wishes after he claimed they had more more make a wish and stuff. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's really pr pretty much it. So you know, yeah. Funny old woman though. She's a funny old woman. It's great seeing her. You know, it, not just funny old woman. You know, you bet, bet your motherfuckers. She's probably some a crazy bitch when she was younger, man. She was crazy. Probably, probably many men would have fucked in the big black couch. I'm telling y'all, she's a crazy. She got them crazy eyes. <laughs> All right, cause she knows something about cancer. And fucking Cena fucking gave her something about cancer. She did. She he did something about it. So uh, then they showed Brian versus Kofi crowd reaction. People were so yeah, they were booing Brian. So which is like surprising and like, you guys don't you guys like Brian? I, unless it's like an intended reaction. I understand, you know. They show Renee and Corey Grace again. They talk about DX and stuff and whatever. Fucking, they introduce Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat had no inductees, and it was a good. It was it was good. You know, uh, Harlem Heat uh, induction. You know, it was it was really cool seeing Stevie Ray and Booker T. Fuck Dave Messler said he didn't deserve it. Let me just check the fucking time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I, I got a few moments, but hey, but just I'm just saying, like it was a good induction though with with Stevie Ray and Booker T. Booker T. said he wanted to be like his a big brother. And then regrets taking his fucking dream and stuff, whatever the fuck, and Steve Ray cut a good promo too. They talk about all the tag teams and stuff, you know. It was enjoyable, it was an enjoyable promo. Not promo, fucking, you know. It was a good induction ceremony thing. They mentioned Sherry Martell, who does, uh, you know, who does her prop, pro they claim that she does for props for this whole women's revolution bullshit. The thing is, like, let me get, like, I understand why, like, I understand they, but, like, you know, mentioning whatever, but, but like, why does it always have to like we have to relate it back to the women's revolution bullshit? Like, can you just do whatever fuck? Like, just mention the fucking bitch, you know? Um, yeah. I mentioned Hulk Hogan says that, and they said like how they're the best tag team in WCW, and like why they're not being mentioned, you know? It's funny though how fucking Booker T keeps saying fucking Hulk Hogan without saying nigga, you know? <laughs> so it's whatever. Anyways, it's cool. It's cool seeing that Booker T and Duke, uh, and Kofi, uh, Kofi, not. What I'm saying, Booker T endorses Kofi to win at WrestleMania, so you know something. And plus, Brian was really good though. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Brian was fucking funny. You know, just his reaction as and he's playing the character. He's playing a heel character. It's fucking amazing. You know. Oh, right, and that's just that. You know, it was funny. A lot of funny things happened too tonight. The New Day were fucking hilarious. I ain't gonna lie. They're, they're, as much as I 
don't care about the New Day. Their fucking reactions are hilarious. And for fuck's sake, when fucking Tor I, I forgot to mention this, with Tori Wilson, they were clapping when they when she said about puberty. They were standing up clapping, and along with all the men out there who were clapping because, like, you know, how Tori Wilson mentioned about how fucking they gave all the men, you know, puberty and shit, you know, fucking, you know. Help them get through puberty and stuff. Hey, she helped with my puberty and stuff. Let's go, right? You know, it's good stuff. Um, yeah, it was great. You know, it's good stuff. Um, that DX happened. Great video package with DX. What the fuck is going on? New York shit, huh? Um, again, I thought that the Rick Root should be in, should have been part of the DX induction. You know, sadly, no inductee for DX. It's just DX coming out. You know, and shit. They entered through the tank. You know. You, you know, once when they were they came out in the tank, it was gonna be good. It was so amazing, though. This was honestly probably one of my favorite induction ceremonies ever. Not induction. Well, in terms, no, the this portion, the them just. The, this was great. It was fucking entertaining. It was literally fucking entertaining. It was amazing. Great speeches. It, it was. It was funny. It was good. Everything. Everybody fucking talked about their stories. Really fucking funny stuff. Really edgy stuff. I'm running out of time. I wish I could have more time to talk. But honestly, it was fucking amazing. Yeah, they mentioned China and stuff. All the DX antics. They were, even though they they, they fucking made fun of Vince McMahon's uh, fucking rules and stuff. You know, they're breaking the rules and shit. And yeah, they, in the end, they squirt water guns and stuff. It was really fucking funny. Amazing. I loved it. They made fun of. They made fun of everybody. They made fun of Linda about how she's working for Trump. Like, oh, what you gonna do? Lower my tax returns <laughs> and fucking, you know, and yeah, they're making all these cutting edge jokes, you know, like leaner jokes with the water guns and stuff and all this stuff. They have DX antics, so even though it was like, it was not really PG, you know, and they were hunting boobs and shit, it was like, wow, it was, it was funny, it was really fucking funny. Enjoy this, that was my favorite speech of tonight, though. Uh, overall, everything was good tonight, good, uh, not, not tonight, well, in, in tonight wise of last night. Great, great induction ceremony. Good show of, of the Hall of Fame. That was my favorite. It's good stuff. I'm doing this motherfucker. Got the big muscles. Got the big ass. Got a big black couch. A fucking bitch motherfucker couch. And you're so long. That's my next scene. Cheers, motherfuckers. God bless everybody. And fuck the Bret Hart attacker. And yeah. Good good, good Hall of Fame, people. Good Hall of Fame. I enjoyed it. WrestleMania tonight. And let's see if it's going to be good or not. But I don't know. We'll see. If, we'll, see. we'll see. That's what I've done, guys. Until next time. Peace. Bye bye. You know what, before I have, before, I'm gonna keep going to the timer or, or, before it shuts off. So yeah, they made fun of AEW as well. Pretty fucking funny, man. Like, Billy Gunn, who's working AEW, made fun of that. Fucking, they made fun of All In, an All In joke and shit, you know, it's freaking funny. Everybody was funny tonight, man. It was fucking hilarious. Fucking hilarious fucking induction ceremony i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it uh the dx stuff really good so i, I think that's all i gotta say honestly good stuff people you just gotta watch that honestly thank you guys for watching